Hello everybody and welcome back to Prophets Gaming and more Plague Inc. Evolved custom scenarios and I hope you all had a very Merry Christmas. Actually, you know what, before we move on to the custom scenarios, I did see a comment a couple of videos back, I think, uh, asking if I was ever going to do some of the official scenarios and such, and you know, there are a lot of really good ones. I haven't done very many of them though, like, at all. Uh, Black Death and Frozen Virus, I think, are the only ones I've actually technically done, so, you know, I mean, I don't know, um, this, this could be kind of fun. If you guys are interested in that, let me know in the comment section below if you think that would be worthwhile, or are you just mostly interested in seeing the creative works of the Steam Workshop? I mean, maybe you are, I don't know. Moving on, let's try something different. What should we go for as far as what is popular? Let's see, we looked at the SCP, the Martian Flu. What is 100 years later? There appears to be an odd issue where all my text appears in lowercase. I have had this problem when I tried designing my own scenario a while back before I scrapped it because it wasn't very good. Or just, I couldn't get it to work the way I wanted it to. Yeah, all my, all my letters went down to lowercase too. It was weird. I'm not sure why I was doing that. It's, it appears to be something wrong with the editor itself. Anyway, you were cured 100 years ago and identified as a danger to humanity. Wait. I was cured and then identified as a danger. Well, that makes little sense. However, a dormant strain of you has survived because of war. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. I was thinking I was a patient. They're talking about, <laughs> they're talking about the disease. Ah, I, the plague, was cured 100 years ago and identified as a, a danger to humanity. That makes more sense. Okay, got it. However, a dormant strain of you has survived because a war began just before you were wiped out and the research was destroyed. Your last few cells have been in a coma-like state in Yugoslavia. The cure may have had an effect on the disease's possibilities. Now, 100 years in the future, you get one last chance at wiping out humanity. That sounds kind of cool. Renamed countries? Ooh, we're going to like a dystopian future. We're like one world order and stuff. This would be kind of fun. Translated into German. Standard plague action modifications. New roots. This sounds awesome. Let's give it a shot. All right, we're playing as a virus type. Do I want to play with catalytic switch? Eh, it's okay. I mean, I think I'd rather go with the metabolic jump, to be honest. Uh, genetic mimic can be kind of nice. Alternatively, we could go for something like Darwinist and really focus on mutation. You know what? Let's do a Darwinist playthrough. What the heck? We're a virus. We mutate a lot. That's what we do. Let's mutate. Aquasite, Extremophile, and uh, Transtasis? Yeah, sure, why not? Because if we're going to have a lot of mutations, I probably will be getting free symptoms. So Symptostasis doesn't make a lot of sense, but transmission could be very important. All right, playing on normal difficulty. PAX 12, randomize. Bubonic itch. I love it. Let's go. 100 years late. I feel like it should be 100 years later, but late could work, I guess. It's just late for killing people. I don't know. You were cured 100 years ago and identified blah 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 Yugoslavia. Uh, the cure may have had an effect on the disease's possibilities. Uh, missing a little bit of misspellings here and there, but it's translated from German, so I'm not gonna harp on it too much. Now, 100 years in the future, you get one last chance at wiping out humanity. Okay, let's take a look at some of the different stuff. We have the American-controlled Canada. We finally did it. America finally conquered Canada. Yes, it happened, everybody. In a hundred years, Spanish colony. It's just called Spanish colony? What, Spain reasserted their power? Spanish homeworld. Sure looks like they did let, okay, British homeland. Norwegian colony, Canadian colony, which means it's owned by the United States, of course. More American colonies. So, when you say that you renamed everything, Brasiliali. Wait, Brasiliali. Brasiliali. Okay, territory of Bolivia, Peru. Communist state of Argentina. Now that's the kind of stuff I'm more thinking of, but I was I was kind of expecting I don't know. I, I think I was expecting a little bit more than just Spanish colony, you know? But it's okay. Chad Empire. Okay, well that's that's something I guess. But most of them are just like colonies slash random states slash territories of what they already are. The Egyptian territories as opposed to Egypt. Ah, Ab Abyssinian territories. Now that's much more interesting to me. Communist state of Botswana. I don't know, I feel like you could use a little bit more. Lots of empires, basically. Basically, in a hundred years, all of the major powers of the world are gonna form their own empires and turn the rest of the world into territories. And that'll be pretty much it. Australia. You could just go with Australia, it had to be Australia. Okay, why not? British colony. Ah, oh, New Zealand, no! Korean colony, Japan finally succumbs to Korea! 
I don't know. Okay. Yeah, we've had enough fun with this, I think. Let's move on. Yugoslavia apparently is still fine. The Yugoslav Empire. Oh, I stand corrected. Bubonic itch begins in the Yugoslav Empire. Weak but used to cold temperatures. Good to know. All right, let's take a look at the transmissions and such. We have everything. Oh gosh, it's gonna be one of those scenarios, isn't it? Where they just, they think that more is better. Not always, sometimes, but not always. Sometimes you only wanna have like four or five options and that actually is better, it's not as noisy. Still, we have our favorite bats and water and air and fomites and rural and birds, rodents, insects, blood, blah, 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 blah. Symptoms, it looks perfectly standard. Okay, that's a little disappointing. Hopefully there's something new in the middle. Abilities! Well, what the heck? There's nothing interesting about this. There's nothing new. It's just too many transmissions, and then the standard symptoms and abilities tree? Nah, hang on. Maybe there's something more to it. There is, after all, new uh, routes. Sea routes, air routes. Actually, that kind of changes the playstyle up a little bit, doesn't it? Greenland has an airport, everybody. That changes things a little bit. I don't know. Um... I guess that in and of itself is a pretty major mechanic change to the uh, to the game. I feel like there's a lot more planes than there used to be. It makes sense for 100 years in the future. Hmm. All right. Wow. Transmissions are actually fairly expensive. Good thing we grabbed the trans stasis, yeah? All right. Well, let's take a look into Yugoslavia. Yugoslavia has, while they're wealthy, shocking, are, are most of the world wealthy? No, well, there's a lot of poor places still. France is a Finnish colony? What? And they're poor! France got conquered! Denmark, Germany, Annex. Huh? Okay, so Denmark and Germany became a nation. Well, yeah, that makes sense because the borders already do this, but that's weird. Huh. Okay, well, it seems like there's a lot of humid stuff around here, so I think going for Water 1 probably will work just fine for us. We might want to go for a level or two of Fomites. Those are more effective in the rich regions. But for now... I definitely am a big fan of the humid countries. Anemia mutated for free. Yeah, um, I mean, with our Darwinian trait, we might actually mutate a little bit more than I was anticipating. Potentially could be a problem. Let's grab a level of Fomites, just so we spread a little bit faster. Amateur brain surgeon amazed by demand. Is this actually a part of the main game now? I assumed it was part of the last scenario. Huh, I thought this was actually a Ben Carson reference, but... I guess it's actually more nuanced than that. It has more to do with the elections in America, the Brexit vote, and people are tired of the experts. And it's like, well, why would you be tired of an expert brain surgeon just because they're the experts and you're tired of experts doesn't mean you should get a carpenter to do your brain surgery and stuff like that. I don't know. The only reason I think that's a stupid quote or a comparison is because politicians are, at least in a democratic or republic state, are supposed to be elected representatives of the people themselves. They're supposed to be members of society, not necessarily political experts. I mean, I guess it kind of depends on if you're going for more of a political elite oligarchy or if you're looking for a proper representative democracy. I don't know. Anyway, I don't want to digress from that too much. Uh, do we want to go for some air just to kind of open up our options? Yeah, all right. Let's go for a little bit of air. Maybe we can get on a plane out of the Yugoslav Empire, which is a very tiny empire. It's basically just the Balkan states. Greece. And a few other things there. That's about it. What are bats do again? Increases infectivity and mutation chance. That's a lot of infectivity. You know what? I like bats. Bats are cool. I've said that before and I stand by it, by God. Rash symptom mutated. Hmm. So what'd you guys do for Christmas? Did you guys have fun? If you celebrate Christmas. Not everyone does. I had a pretty good time. What'd you guys get? Did you get goodies? You get presents? I hope you did. All right, do we want to go for a little bit more resistances? Uh, or do we want to go for... You know what, let's go ahead and grab insects so we can get a little bit of hot climate transmissivity as well. Yeah, just let me know in the comment section. Did you get something really cool? Or better yet, this is a more interesting question, I suppose. What are your family traditions on Christmas? See, I don't have any family traditions on Christmas anymore. Now that I'm married and I've moved out, Kind of changes things a little bit, you know? Let's grab birds. I like the land transmission. It's like now my wife and I have to kind of figure out our own traditions, and nothing's really stuck yet. 
So I guess I ask out of partly selfish reasons, kind of wondering if there's something I could borrow from people. Alright, Bat 2 is really good for infectivity, but it's also a tiny bit lethal, I'm not sure I'm thrilled about that. Let's grab another level of Fomites for the wealthy and urban transmission, because it is still a fairly potent. Okay, we got into the Estonian states. Aw oh, man, I kind of was... Well, okay, a communist satellite of Poland. Huh. Kind of would have been happier if it was called the Commonwealth. You know, based on my old uh, EU4 playthroughs that I'm doing. If you guys aren't familiar with those, you should totally check them out. Let's grab another level of water. Water is, after all, the best, in my opinion. They did find the bubonic itch. Hypersensitivity just mutated, which means we should be a little bit more effective in the rich countries as well. Now, given that this is a standard symptoms tree, I imagine this means necrosis is right here, and y'all know that I really do love my necrosis. It's super effective. The Ottoman Empire has come back again. Let's grab a level of heat resistance. Whoa, hello. Okay, the Ottoman Empire is back. That's not good for the world, probably. I don't know. How many em Ottoman Empires has there been? I'm familiar with one really big one, but I think, I don't know, maybe the same empire that's just spanned over a long period of time. Eh, whatever. Anyway, alright, so do we want to go for more birds, more insects? Insects are better, actually, in this case, because we really want to do better in the hot, humid climates, which is where we are going to be the weakest right now, and we need to spread better in South America and a lot of the equatorial region. India, for example, would do very well for us. Uh, they technically haven't even started working on the cure yet, so I'm not strictly worried about it. Uh, I could grab another level of air, and that'll just make us better in arid regions, which includes a lot of northern Africa and the Middle East and so on, and gets us onto more plains. So that's not so bad necessarily. There we go, we're into Greenland. I'm a little worried about Madagascar. Territory of Peru, communist state of blah, 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 blah. Okay, I'm just gonna, I, I won't recognize some of these, so... Madagascar is the only major island we are missing at the moment. And I don't know what new sea routes you have, but I imagine getting into uh, India a little bit better might work out well for us. Do you want to go for extreme bio aerosol? I don't know. Let me see. Madagascar is considered rural. Uh, maybe we want to get some level of livestock. That'll actually be really helpful in places like Africa and such as well. You never know. First death in the Chinese Empire. See, it would be so much cooler if it was called, like, the Second Ming Dynasty or something like that. Or how many dynasties have there been for the Ming? I don't know. I'm not a history major. The point is, names like that would have been far more interesting and engaging to me personally. But what do I know, right? All right, um, I I'm really don't want to get into too many symptoms right now. I'm going to grab another level of drug resistance, and look, there's actually drug immunity. Intelligent cell receivers able to repel all modern medicine. Is this uh, part of the scenario, or is this something I've never really noticed before? It's only 14 points. I'm grabbing it. We're going to be completely immune to all forms of medication. There we go, we're in Madagascar. All right, the birds shall do the rest. The Chad Empire is the only one we are missing. We should start working down necrosis. Sweating, skin lesions, necrosis. Kill them all and make their bodies infective. It's my favorite way of doing things. Internal hemorrhaging, hemorrhagic shock. You know what, hemorrhagic shock sounds pretty good. Let's do that. Oh no, they've started working on the cure. No, please, no. Seizures have begun. Look how many plane routes there are. This kind of reminds me of... Um, Oh gosh, what was it? It was like the virus. Like the, the black water virus or something? No, the dark net virus? I don't know. There was some sort of virus scenario where basically the, uh, there were a million, not millions, but just many, many, many different airplane connections all representing the Wi-Fi connections of the world. That was a pretty clever idea for a scenario. I appreciated that. Let's grab paralysis and coma to try and slow down the cure as much as we are able to. Total organ failure mutated for free. That's excellent. Lots of free lethality for me. The Canadian colony begins to break down from bubonic itch. That's Greenland, by the way, not Canada itself. I know it might sound a little confusing. Uh, insanity, significantly harder to cure. Yeah, you know what? Let's go ahead and grab that just to save ourselves a little bit of score. Global research is now focusing on the cure. Insomnia just mutated, but people are dying very rapidly. The Chad Empire is actually holding out on us a teensy-weensy bit, though. And I am a little worried that if we get too much uh, lethality, we're not going to actually be able to grow. That said, we are still growing in our infected numbers, so I do need to be careful, but I think we'll be fine. We could grab, actually, another level of... Oh, uh, I don't know. Do we want to get some sort of, like, cure resistance, or do we want to go for a little bit more transmission to make sure we get into Chad faster? Or do we care? Well, it is only eight points, after all. Um, you know what? Let's... Yeah, you know what? Mm. Mm, well, let's just grab a level of livestock. It's 12 points. We have transtasis. Why the heck not, right? 
Uh, pulmonary fibrosis, immune suppression can be lethal. Dysentery is pretty damn effective. Let's do that. Someone will die of dysentery. I love it. It's just like my Oregon Trail games. All right, now we're going to focus on slowing down the cure. It's the only thing I care about at this point. Just make sure we get the best score possible, which we will be perfectly fine on. Genetic reshuffle. Send things back just a couple percentage points. Uh, the Angolian territories were actually a little bit of a threat to us, but it seems we will be perfectly fine. And every single country in the world has been fully infected. The Yemen Empire. Really? Saudi Arabia died and Yemen took over. I find that rather hard to believe. Let's grab a couple more levels of genetic reshuffle and then there's hardened reshuffle. Pathogen DNA structure reassembled and highly unstable, significantly harder to develop cure, and also slows research speed. 58 points, though, which is a little bit on the steep side. No healthy people left in the world. Well, excellent. Systematic infection. I mean, I don't know if that's going to do much for us at this point, but let's just go ahead and grab a level of paranoia. Eh, I guess that'll just uh, call it good. Bubonic itch to destroy humanity. So, this scenario, I, I think I was expecting it to be a little bit more creative than it actually was. It's not a bad idea. I actually think the idea of um, a resurgent plague 100 years in the future is actually leaves a lot of room for creative reinterpretation. You know, you really could go crazy on renaming countries. I guess there is some limi limitation um, in the game where you can't change the borders of nations, right? So, you can't develop, let's say, Spain and France into one nation and call it Franco-Iberia, right? That, that's not an option. So, I guess there are some limitations there, but even so, I feel like there was a lot of room for far more creativity, and it wasn't really there. So, really, all this scenario seems to have added, as far as I can tell is extra transmission options, which are just the basics, but there's more of them, followed by different names, renaming every single country, even though they're not super creative, and then extra airports and seaports. And as far as I can tell, that's more or less it. Maybe the hardened reshuffle and the uh, drug immunity, but that's about it. Really cool idea for a scenario, I just feel like it needs a bit more oomph. There's so much room to be creative and just go crazy with it, you know what I mean? And I feel like I feel like the developer played it a little safe. Now that said, this might be the developer's first ever attempt at a scenario. I mean, I don't know the scenario. I, I don't know I don't know his story. So maybe he's just experimenting with something new. In which case, yeah, the idea of changing up this airports and seaports to kind of change how you play the game. I mean, that could be pretty substantial. You know, don't underestimate the effects of just changing around some airports. That can have a huge impact in how you play your game. But if you're going to go with a theme, I recommend doubling down on it and making it really creative. That's my personal preference, though. Otherwise, you know what? Yeah, I'll say, yeah, I recommend it. Um, but if the developer ever does see this, I like the idea, but don't be afraid to try something really cool and crazy. That would be my recommendation. Thank you all very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to let me know in the comment section what you guys think of doing official scenarios. If enough people seem to think that that's a good idea, I could start working those in uh, occasionally. And in the meantime, focus mostly on the custom scenarios. Subscribe for my future content if you have not already. And I, as always, will see you guys next time.